Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Gracious God, speak through these words if they are worthy, and if they are not, speak in spite of them. Amen. This is so awesome just to see you all here. Thank you for being here today. There are folks here who have never met before, so hopefully you're staying for dinner and we'll get to know each other a little bit. Um, I'll do the introductions then instead of now, because it's really a sermon now. <laughs> for our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh, but against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Guess what? Guess what? What? <laughs> I have a three sentence theology. Good for me. Thousands of dollars in student loans for seminary, hundreds of hours of study, well, dozens of hours of study. And I got a three sentence theology. And not just because I'm a Trinitarian. First sentence in my three-sentence theology, get your dictionaries out. God don't make no junk. That's the first one. The third sentence of my three-sentence theology is, thank God Jesus is a junk man. I hear you. You're tittering. And I see some looks on your face like he can't count because he went from one to three and left out the two. Well, now that I see you've leaned in to see what else I'm going to mess up on, I'm going to tell you the entire trio and stop messing with you. Here is my three sentence personal theology. God don't make no junk. The world we live in junks us or tries its best. Thank God Jesus is a junk man. What does that mean, Mr. I've been to seminary and studied for 10 minutes? First, let's talk about God don't make no junk. God in and through Jesus Christ made the whole of creation, even humanity, and called it good. And that's in the Bible. That's in the first chapter of the first book of the Bible. God made it all and called it good. God don't make junk. No junk. But this world we live in does its best to junk us. The world junks us. That which God has called good, much of the world, including the church, at one time or another, has called it junk. That which God has called good, much of the world, including the church, has at one time or another called junk. There's probably not one thing and no one person who has not felt the sting of being discarded, disregarded, or damaged by the lesser angels of our humanity. The world, including us, deems much as junk. Thank God Jesus is a junk man. That is a song, by the way. No, I will not sing it. <laughs> Jesus Christ picks through what and who the world has discarded and has deemed to be no good. And in Christ, God redeems it and us and calls us good. God in Christ redeems and renews and reforms everything and everyone who the world has damaged or discarded. Especially important to know the parts of ourselves of which you and I are most ashamed. God loves those parts of us the most. God redeems, God renews, and God reforms everything. God takes a special interest, I think, in redeeming, renewing, and reforming everyone who the church has damaged or discarded. And there's a long list, but that's a whole other sermon. Actually, that's a whole preaching series. God don't make no junk. 
but the world we live in junks us. Jesus, thank God, is the junk man. So where do we come in? Well, you and I, we're part of Christ's ongoing incarnation in this world, which means you and I have a lot of work to do. You and I are defined who and what the world has discarded and disregarded and damaged, including the parts of ourselves of which we are most ashamed. You and I are to bring those into God's embrace because we are agents of God in Christ. We're to bring all of those discarded, disregarded, and damaged people and things into God's embrace and say, you are loved. You are wonderfully and fearfully made. Joyfully, you are made by our God. You are beautiful. That work is hard. It's hard to look in the mirror and do that. But it's really especially hard to do it with other people, especially in these divided times where those of us who disagree with one another become dead to one another. St. Paul talked about this today in his writing. Our work in the world is not against people, as hard as they may try. Our work for God is with and it's for people. Our work in the world is against the harmful exclusionary ether that infects all of us. Our struggles are against the power and the desire that we have as well to profane what our God has called holy. Our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh, but against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. As the embodiment of Jesus in the world, as his redeemed and redeeming hands, eyes, feet, ears, mouth, his heart, you and I and the whole of the church are called to constantly go through this world to find the people who have been discarded and disregarded and damaged by the world, particularly the church. As God's agents, you and I are to pick up and to bring in who has been left out, kept out, and thrown out. And with them, bar none, we're to share God's indwelling love and grace for their healing, for their transforming, and for their fullest inclusion, bar none. We're to show that what the world deems as trash, God redeems as holy, bar none. And there's plenty of redeeming divine love to go around. You don't have to hold a little bit back for yourselves. We're to take God's love in and to cherish it and bless it. And then they were to break that love of God into a million little pieces and share it with everyone. Everyone. Take, bless, break, share God's love with everyone because Christ redeems regardless. God reaches others through us. God reaches us through others. God's love in us is not for us to keep, but to share. God don't make no junk. The world junks us. Jesus is the junk man. You and I incarnate Christ salvaging, healing, in this world, to each and all, for each and all, with each and all. So my beloved family, who in your path and who in mine needs most the life and the love 
that God offers through us. Pray with me. Beautiful, all-embracing God, show us who we are to reach for next with your healing grace. Show us who to remind that they are loved. Amen.